Welcome back, everybody, to Assassin's Creed Origins. Just chilling here with two freaking awesome kitties. Look at these little cats that just appeared out of nowhere. They just walked up to me. Baik was just standing here chilling with Senu, and these two gorgeous felines just approached. Very, very cool. Wish I could keep them with me, but alas, I don't think we can. A good opportunity is kind of take a quick look at the Baik's wears here he's got quite the uh, the armaments looks fantastic on xbox one x you got his shield his big old axe weapon spears arrows this cool pouch i wonder what's in that pouch i'm guessing the sleep darts maybe the fire bombs are there it kind of looks like he's got like some climbing gear as well another pouch on this side maybe for artifacts the bow obviously and then these two amazing little kittens thanks for all your support we're going to continue along our adventure see what is going on what, what are we trying to do here actually and um, as you know the targets have expanded immensely lizard crocodile hyena and scarab have all come out of the woodwork um we are level 15 right on the cusp of 16 we are so freaking close um and uh, the scarab's lies is 18 so we're not going to do that yet we've got lost happiness nesaman took a beer shipment to yamun all eyes on us I like this one. We're trying to just really take down Safetu. Uh, we worked last time on the Hippo Island and getting that sort of all squared away with the uh, the shipment of the goods and whatnot. So let's let's do this. Let's take let's out. Deal with Safetu's archers and Saiz. Yeah. They are his eyes. Yeah. Hey, what? what? Should not be seen oh, in this God, area. this is a freaking hideout with a captain and treasure. Probably not the best way uh, to approach this, but. We'll go for it. I'm going to switch to my heavy weapon. Yeah. Cleave and strike as many of these dudes as I can. All right. Let's charge up our attack. There we go. I love that when you do the spin move. That's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. We're taking some damage. Basically, the, the main way we take damage lately is from archers when we're not angled properly, you know? Ow. All right. Let's... F Come at me. Ah, a little bit early on the parry there. Ideally, I want to use this uh, adrenaline move on him because he is the, the hardest with his shield, so we'll get him gone. That's good work. And then we should be able to finish this guy off relatively easily. Let's switch to our quick weapon. And you can see that now the weapon switching really comes in handy. Nice. Knock this guy totally down. And then we can come in and just really wreck him. Now, there is a captain out there, as well as treasure. So, since we're in this, uh... Since we're in this area, let's grab all of it before we move on. There's the treasure. It's an upgraded spear, so that's pretty nice. The captain... Oh, he's up this way. Okay. And he's one of those dudes that's a dual wielder. Um, I think I can probably just get the assassination. Is he peeing again? These dudes need to stop urinating all over Egypt. It's causing a lot of chaos for me and for them. As you can see, it's getting him in big trouble. Yeah, we're too quick for you, buddy. He's gonna bleed out any second now. Yep, and there we go. Captain, treasure, loot it and leave it. The Sanemphia hideout is eviscerated. Okay, so, ooh, a nice sickle sword. Let's go change our, our gear here real quick then. See what we got going on. Because um, that's a level 8 sickle sword, and I just, wow. So we're going to go from 110 to 140 and bleeding. This one is bleeding, but this one has triple bleeding. I like that. That Kopesh sword is pretty freaking awesome. Um, I think we only have one ability point, so I'm going to wait till we get 16 for a second one. Everything else is looking good. We do have a spear. Um, how good is the spear? Let's see. Um, it's 123 per second, so it's not as good as the head splitter. It does have critical hit. The nice thing about this legendary weapon is that it has triple skills on it, which is cool. It's it's kind of crazy to think that these 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 things all have different uh, you know skills on the weapons. It's just something you wouldn't expect from AC at all. Um, all right, so we're heading this way to go take down those archers. I'm actually going to use Senu and see if there's any leather in this general region. Doesn't seem like there's a lot going on. Mm, there's some back that way, but nothing really. There's a bunch of hippos resting over there. I need just plain old leather. Maybe I can buy some. Anyhow. Um, oh, I could have fast traveled, but, you know, we're close. Let's just run the rest of the way. 290. We'll camel it up. 
it's kind of cool that you can just tap to whistle to attract um, enemies and then you can hold the whistle to get your camel. It's like the camel deserves more energy and effort than the enemies and that's how it should be. Our trusty old camel, Calliope or Cade or Clash or whatever we're going to name him. He deserves some extra effort, right? He, he deserves a full-on hearty whistle. Alright. Let's leave him here, and we're just gonna kind of climb up this way. They are his eyes. Yeah, let's go grab this XP. It'll definitely, obviously, take us to, to 12. Um, but more importantly, it'll get us... I mean, take us to 16, but I think then we should be able to start approaching the Scarab. Okay. So, where we actually need to go... Oh, we have to take out all six of them. Okay. So there's some there... Some up here. Kind of just everywhere. Alright, so what we need to do is... Okay, okay, I got you. We need to find other high vantage points and probably just use our predator bow to wipe them out one by one. Let's see, that's probably the best way. The hard part is... Well, let's see, what do I got? Let's see, if I can get some assassinations. Obviously alerting these guys. Yeah. Alerting them is going to be bad news. But if I can do it stealthily, that'll be huge. I don't think I have the ability to pull guys off the ledges yet. It's a little rough. The hard part is that some of these guys are... Ah, I should have put them to sleep. Whoa. Alright, well, we'll just do it combat-wise then. And we'll take the other... Uh, there's one. We'll take the other guys more stealthily. But... Might as well just uh, finish these fools off with some combat. There we go. Okay, two of six. The other archers can't possibly know what's going on. Um... Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Hey, are these gonna be more archers? They are. That's good news. We'll take it. There's three. No, there's no trouble here. There's no trouble. There we go. Absolute eradication. Okay, four out of six are killed. Liking that new sickle sword, as you see, it's dealing mondo damage without uh, much time. We're kind of able to crush the fools pretty quickly. And you can see there's two more archers there. Um, I'm gonna get to this building. What does that run? Is that? Oh, I thought that was a little, I thought that was an indicator, but it's actually just the edge of like a bamboo pole. Um, I'm gonna try to get close enough to these guys, just take them out with the predator bow so we don't have to deal with combat. Mixing a little stealth there with our, uh, our insanity of actual sickle sword combat. Sickling and stealthing. That's kind of my, my new strategy. Stealth and sickle is what it's called. It's a new moveset. Designed by uh, designed by Aya. We'll take we'll give her credit for this one. Alright. Dang, it's not they have How is this not gonna kill him? Hmm. It's because they have helmets, I guess. Wow. Body shots do not really work on these dudes. This guy's trying to come up to me. Okay. There we go. Let's finish these archers off. Ow. Oh, this guy's gonna bleed out. There we go. That, takes care that was a nice, guys. quick mission. Wow. Okay, we should be able to finish him off. Yeah. With this new sickle sword and that adrenaline move, that is absolute chaos and an absolute win. That's basically like the win button. We are gonna freaking finish anyone off that comes our way with that. Um, I'm gonna go here and check out this blacksmith and just see what we can do. 
Okay, there's upgrades, there's refills, there's buying mirror blades. These two blades bear an unnerving similarity right down there. Okay, that's cool. Dual wielding crazy shep, uh, scepter. It's a Skeptron. It sounds like it's straight from Transformers. Um, what is upgrade? Okay, so we can upgrade. Okay, we can take this Kopesh sword up. Interesting. Head splitters, 3,000 coins, but it's quite the upgrade. Um, four extra damage, two extra quality. Let's sell off unnecessary items. Okay, and then I'm going to dump a lot of this stuff. All right. Like these lower level weapons that I know I'm not going to use again. I mean, this copper mace is cool, but I'm going to get rid of it. Really no chance we dip All down right. to like level... You know, level 10 weapons anymore. So even though some of them are very pretty, I'm gonna get rid of them. Um, okay, things that are equipped, not gonna sell. All these extra shields though, let's get rid of them. Okay. So I think that's good. And we have 3,000 coins. Chilling at level 16 now. We've got a treasure over here, so let's just go grab it just to see what it is. Um, there we go. So I figure we'll head over this way and uh, grab this treasure, clear this area, and then we'll move on to the next part of the mission. If we're able to. Nice! Look at that. That was an amazing headshot. He's like retreating. He's like, oh dear god. Bayek is nearby. I don't even think he knows it's me. But I'm sure he knows that somebody nefarious is approaching. And he does not want to mess with it. Alright, so now because we cleared out that guard, I would think it'll be easy to kind of... This dude's... I was going to say kind of stealth our way in. I don't know why this guy is coming this far into the, the river, or into the woods. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a land river. Alright, I mean, I guess the fact that he's... Okay. Oh, wow. All three of them are exiting the area, which is going to leave a huge exposure zone on this left side. So, it actually might be to our advantage. Honestly, they kind of screwed themselves over. Ooh, right in the face. That guy got absolutely obliterated. Where is the treasure? Where is the treasure? Senu, help me out here. Where is it? There it is. No, that's not it. Um. Okay, it's inside. Let's grab this big treasure before anyone gets back. Okay, cool. A new heavy blade. Good little assassination there. And that's actually some pretty good XP. Let's see, we're at 16 and a half now. Quest-wise, Scarab's Lies is open. So we gotta go to Latopolis. Remember, there's another city there. Um, sandstorms are trying to make make matters worse for this little old city. Um, but they're nothing compared to the constant threat of the Scarab, whom has transformed the desert into a graveyard. Will Latopolis be saved by Bayak? Will the sand swallow our heroes as well as the people of Nile Delta? The Order of Ancients must fall. Okay, so that's where we're headed. And it is way down here. Um, so let's let's actually knock out these fast travel points as we go. I think that's probably the best course of action. Um, so we'll hit this up. I'm going to get the heck out of here. So we kind of uh, finished up that locale. There was no captain there. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's run on the riverbanks. I don't think they can... Oh, they are bringing their horses on the... Great. Right. These guys are relentless. I kind of like it. They're like a constant threat. Thinking about, you know... You you don't want these open sections to get too dull. So even though it is kind of annoying, like, God, oh, why do they keep chasing after me? It definitely gives you something to keep your eyes on. Um, and I found that the... Uh, I found that the, the outposts, if you will, kind of whatever you want to call them, like these little, like, guarded areas are actually pretty fun for the most part. They have a decent variety in like their size, their scale, 
uh, the approach, what you get out of it. So those have actually been pretty, thankfully, pretty unique, pretty varied, pretty fun. And I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed them. I think they're far less monotonous than like the outpost in Far Cry and the rewards are far better because you're getting a lot of times really sick weapons or at least, you know, parts to help craft or whatnot. Let's see, is there any leather around here? I just want some leather. I don't want pelts. I want straight up regular old leather. Meh. Maybe as we get closer and closer to Latopolis, maybe there'll be more, uh, more fauna for us to farm. In the meantime, though, let's head skyward, scale this tower, and see what we can do. What is this? I got a dead body down here. A heavy, blunt weapon. My love, I think your father outdid himself this time. I told you the man had it out for me. This guard post he had me stationed at is impossibly dangerous. It's probably not wise to light a fire in these bandit infested lands, but it's either that or I'm getting eaten alive by hyenas. My dear Bahenu, please try to make him come to his senses and let me come home. Oh, God. This dude died by the guard post. All of his skin just burned right off from the fire. He was just trying to defend himself from the hyenas. Rough life out here, huh? Alright, this is not a very high sink point. In fact, it's probably the, the lowest sink point we've yet to see. But it's still beneficial. And it still provides us with some XP, some fast travel. And Senna's perceptions incre increased. I noticed that I was calling her Senua earlier, which I don't even know why. I don't know what that's from or why it was in my mind, but yeah, yeah. Um, let's go check out this now. Again, just going to kind of try and uncover map and uh, also grab some easy XP while we traverse the land. Maybe we can hit 17 by the time we get to uh, Latopolis and talk with our informant. Oh, there's a statue. I wish we could take it out. With our, uh... I'm, I'm not doing anything, don't mind me. Okay, they're on the move, good. Alright. I don't know what we get from for destroying these statues of uh, King Ptolemy, but I'm hoping if we destroy enough of them, I mean, I know it's XP, but I'd like to imagine like there's some cool King Ptolemy weapon or outfit for destroying all of them, right? You got You have to think. All right, cool. It's 300 XP though, which is pretty good considering quests are like 1,200. You know. Out of the way. Out of the way. Good. They have to go find who destroyed that statue. Surely wasn't me, boss. Surely wasn't me. All right. Nikhil Fort. Interesting. So this fort looks pretty. Sweet. A lot of, like, archery target practice there. Um, we've uncovered that. I'm not going to mess with it for now. I'm just going to head to the next point, which is down here. It's a pretty, pretty big uh, journey to Latopolis. Hopefully it's a cool-looking area. I don't know if it's going to be a big city. It, it sounds like it's a pretty big city. And it's one deep in the desert since they're talking about getting swallowed by the sand. So that should be interesting. I wonder if we're going to make our way towards the first pyramid encounter. Still desperately awaiting it. It kind of reminds me of Kilimanjaro Safaris from Animal Kingdom if you've been there, like, cross the bridge, it's wobbly. Look at the flamingos, they're pink. Check out the lions, they're probably sleeping. Alright. This is another restricted area. Um, this one's kind of cool. It's a pretty big fortress there. Um, we're gonna head across the river, ignore these soldiers. And, uh, go grab another sink point in a fast travel. Since this is a, a wide swath of land, I want to make sure that my paintbrush hits as many marks as it can. So if we need to go to any of these places or, you know, when we're looking for papyrus puzzles, we just have some good fast travel points. What the heck? No? I spent the better half of the day examining the Horus Watchtower. Ooh! A lion! Speak of the devil! Oh my god! We just, we just freaking talked about lions. Oh my god, it's a husband and wife lion team. I hate this because I'm a fan, as I told you, the Detroit Lions. I mean, I don't like murdering animals any which way, but especially not my lions. And we were just talking about Kilimanjaro safaris. They must have heard us and been like, yo, you thought we sleep all day? No siree. We out here grinding, fighting. Oh my god. I hate to do this to you. But yeah, I'm sorry, I just killed your woman. And I know that you're not happy about that at all. Yikes. They're not, as, they're not as tough as the hippos, surprisingly. Either that or my armor is just 
getting crazy, but I got a lion, I got some pelts. I feel pretty nasty about that. <laughs> but that's still a cool encounter. Um, looting some coins, and what does this say? I spent hours, I spent better half of the day examining the horse watch turn. I have to say I'm very troubled by the lack of rigor. Someone is bound to get hurt or even killed. I'll double up the support beams tomorrow just to be sure. Okay. They, they didn't like the construction of this thing. Well, I'm still going to climb it anyways. The bike doesn't have any, uh, any, uh, any, any care, any concern. He's way too acrobatic and athletic for anything like that to throw him off, so. We're just going to chill like a vill on top of this tower. This, this seriously looks like a Far Cry tower. It's a little shorter than a Far Cry tower. Um... But yeah, pretty cool nonetheless. All right, synchronization. There's more lions coming our way. The map has been updated, but I don't know how much how much gets filled in. I would I would have imagined that more would be filled in when we hit these towers. I don't know, like more little things to do, but it doesn't seem like it really fills in much. All right, let's hit this, and then we'll make our way down. There's more quests. This is the the Latopla city here. Um, it looks like pyramids are here, so I bet, I bet, I bet, guys and girls, I bet we are going to. Oh my god, it's like a pride of lions. Probably not happy, the fact that we just murdered a few of their friends. Um, but I bet this is our, our chance to, to meet the pyramids. Come on, camel. You gotta outrun these lions. Okay, I gotta get on my camel. They're gonna probably eat my freaking camel. Nope, don't eat him. Don't eat him. Let's go. Underlay, underlay. Let's get out of here. Um, my next marker is this way. Okay. Lions, stay in your lands. Listen, you gotta beat the Steelers. Let's get it done. Alright, so hit up this fortress. New location. Yes, it's restricted. 